Hi everyone, Mike Carey with Northwest Fishing Reports. We're taking a break from the action here at Rife Lake in Washington. We've been fishing for trout and landlocked kokanee. I wanted to show you guys some of the different attractors that we use when we go fishing for kokanee and, and uh, trout and landlocked coho. Attractors being dodgers, sling blades, spinners, things of that sort. There's three purposes of an attractor. One is to create flash and color in the water that the fish will see. A second purpose is to um, create movement of the lure behind um, the dodger or flasher or whatever it is you're using. And the third purpose is to create a sonic vibration in the water which fish with their lateral lines will perceive and come to take a look at what's going on. So lots of different uh, types of attractors and it can be kind of daunting for someone who's new to fishing kokanee and trout. I'm gonna show you my setups and uh, some of the Dodgers attractors that I use. First off, attractors are running anywhere from six to $10 in the stores. So you really wanna take good care of them. I use this product from Mock Fishing Stuff to keep all my equipment organized, all my attractors organized. Works really good. It's uh, drains the water so when you put it in wet it dries out. So looking at some of the different types of attractors, this is your standard dodger. It's designed to fish from about 1 to 1.5 miles an hour and behind the boat it will do just what it says. It will dodge back and forth. It will impart some action on the fly or whatever lure you have but not a huge amount. Um, one thing, if you start trolling faster than 1.5 miles an hour, it's going to start rotating. So that's primarily for slower type uh, trolling. Next up in the style of dodgers would be things like sling blades. And this is a style of a sling blade. These are designed to go a little faster. You control them more like, you could troll them at 1.0, but they're designed to go all the way up to 1.8 and they'll give more action to your gear. Again, lots of different colors, lots of different styles. You can also put a little bend on the, on the uh, slip blade. Dog action. You can also put a little bend on the sling blade and that'll give it even more action in the water. So this is particularly good for a faster trolling speed. The third main type of attractor, and I don't use these a lot, but I'll use them sometimes, are inline rotators. Inline rotators will do just that. The blade will spin around creating sonic vibration in the water and flash, but they won't impart a lot of action on your lure behind um, the uh, attractor. So again, it has its purpose, has its applications. The um, best way of learning how to use these products is to get a few of each kind, green, chartreuse, orange, pink, um, chrome, silver, those are all gonna be effective at different times and different conditions. So give them a test, see which one works best. And um, as always, you just gotta experiment, experiment, experiment to see what the fish want on any particular day. So hope that helps. See you guys on the water.